not too bad. It looked a little bit more like football today, which was encouraging to see guys running into each other. Uh, you're starting to see some plays being made on both sides of the ball, which is encouraging, and uh, you know, I like our progress. What are you able to do with half pads that you can't do in just the shells or the helmets this year? Well, you, you got a lot more banging, especially up front. You know, uh, everything the last two days has just been hand placement, which is you know good drill work, but. You know, once you can start using your shoulder pads, you can front guys up. You can what we call thud tackle. Uh, nobody goes to the ground, but but again, it's it's closer simulating football. So uh, it's it's critical that as we learn to play with our pads, we learn to play fast and and be able to run into each other and, and, and stay on our feet. Uh, it's it's really good teaching. Any uh, new development assessments on what do you think of the quarterbacks? What are showing you anything new? You know, every every day guys are getting better. Uh, you know. There's really no separation between any of them right now. Uh, uh, you know, I, I like how, at times, all, all four of them are, are doing some good things. Uh, the older guys, understandably, are a little bit more poised and they're more consistent. Uh, but you know, we're, we're seeing some of the younger guys make some throws as well. Three days in, you got a feel for which side of the ball is picking things up a little faster defensively. Well, I mean, defensively, we've got eight returning starters. Uh, typically, defense is going to be ahead. You know, at this stage of things. Uh, and that's you know kind of normal. You know the timing's not down yet with the offense, and you know when you got a lot of new guys, it's it, it's understandable. But you know it's like we just hit, you know had a two-minute drill here. We, we our defense stopped our guys two straight series. We get a third series, uh, and we give up a, you know a big play on a slant. You know we we've got that kind of talent that you know we're always one play away from you know, having an explosive play. Coach, any uh, players yeah. stand out today, or any stand out yeah, no. plays that are in your head right now? Um. I mean, there were, there were quite a few. Uh, you know, Edgerow had a nice pick today. I uh, saw Jeff, Jeff Millie breaking on the ball. Uh, Aaron Peck made a nice play on the slant and took it to the house. Uh, you know, I thought Brandon Kinnett made some, some nice throws today. Uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of things going on. I just didn't cheer everything. <laughs> I believe you have one recruit, Robbie Johnson. That's hey, even not here. Is there any comment or any update on where he's at? Uh, right now, he still has some academic work to do and that we're working through with the NCAA. And is Colin McGuire here? I don't think he is. Uh, no, Colin's at home. He's got some family issues going on right now. Okay, and you expect him to be back? We do. Uh, I'm not sure when that exactly that's going to be, but we expect him to be back. What's been your thoughts on the fact you didn't get much playing time, but you got to play at the end there? And, uh, well, 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 well. Yeah, I think, I think uh, Aaron's got a lot of ability, uh, but you've got, to, you've got to couple that ability with game experience so that you can play with confidence. I think he's starting to approach that right now. The more reps he's getting in practice, and you know, that success today, when he can do that on a consistent basis, I can think I think he can be one of the better you know, receivers in our league. He seems to kind of like have Devontae goes well, up and gets. It. Yeah, he's got really good ball skills. You know, like Devontae, he was a basketball player in high school. Uh, he's got a good body like Devontae. He's about 220 pounds, around you know, 6'4". Um, you know, he's starting to understand how to use those tools uh, more football-wise than not basketball-wise. On the offseason, uh, Coach Jose was saying the recruiting class is one more athletic than you guys have had. Now you've had a chance to see some of these young guys. Do you have any thoughts? Yeah, I don't think it's close athleticism-wise. This year's class, we've got some really talented guys and guys that are going to be pushing for early playing time if they can figure it out. Um, and if not, I mean, we've got some guys that if we redshirt them, they'll, they'll be ready to roll in a year. You know, if, if they're not quite, you know, picking up our scheme, so we're excited about it. I mean, our linebackers, we got some big guys that can roll. Really like, you know, improvements in our secondary. I like our speed on offense. So uh, excited about the guys that we signed.